Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. EA have dropped the team of the year hype basically out of nowhere with this loading screen right here. And what a beautiful card design that is, by the way. In my opinion, one of the best team of the year designs we have had. That is beautiful. But out of nowhere, team of the year warm up series with daily login packs, daily icon SBCs, and an 83 times 10 pack that we get to do not once, but twice every single day the hype is through the roof now for team of the year of course just being two days away and a lot of packs that we have to look out for and a lot of packs that we want to get to give ourselves an increased chance at getting a team of the year that's what this warm-up series promo is all about we didn't think we were getting this promo this year because usually it's like the week before but ea says hey we're gonna drop a promo inside of a promo the centurions promo that is still going on right now so we have some leagues that we need to look at and we have the official team of the year icon card design that's been added to the code i feel like that even might be on a loading screen that we see today and of course all of this is impacting the market like crazy prices are crashing people are panic selling and i'm even losing some coins trying to trade cards and losing on some of those trades because nobody wants to buy cards right now and everybody just wants to do the sbcs to save up packs inside of this team of the year warm-up series promo so there is a lot to talk about today if you're excited for it hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you are new let's start with a little bit of information straight from ea Yesterday, they updated their website, right? We didn't see any Team of the Year leaks yet, of course. We were hoping to see those yesterday, like last year, but we didn't yet. We will now know the official Team of the Year posted by EA on their socials tomorrow on Thursday. I'm not knowing, I don't know if we're going to see the ratings or if we're going to see the actual stats on the card, but we'll at least know who is in Team of the Year tomorrow on Thursday from EA. Wouldn't surprise me if we actually see some leaks on Twitter today wouldn't surprise me at all so that's kind of the news with team of the year and who's going to be in the actual squad now let's talk about this team of the year warm-up series promo because this was a big surprise yesterday ea just kind of dropped it out of nowhere of course the loading screen here or this little screen in game says daily login upgrade that's sick we'll talk about that daily icon sbcs unbelievable and more right and we know what some of that more is because we saw the 83 times 10 sbc that was released yesterday and oh wait you thought you would only be able to do this SBC once? Yeah, you can do it twice per day. It refreshes again for me in two hours when I'm recording this video. Every 12 hours, two times a day, we'll be able to do this 83 times 10. Of course, same requirements as last time. 84 squad or 83 squad, whatever it is. But 385, it's an 84 squad. That's what it is. And 385s and a team of the week. 85s are once again exploding they are at max price extinct on the market the only ones that are sitting there are like promo cards right you look at all the 85s that are on the market it's informs it's promo cards 18,000 coins they're honestly about the same price as 86 rated cards who are about 19,000 coins it is crazy how much demand there is for these cards and guess what there's only going to be more if you still have fodder i would honestly maybe just wait to sell because again 83 times 10 twice a day so much fodder is going to be needed to get these packs by the end of the week it's just gonna keep going up i mean ea could drop some sbcs with tradable packs to supply the market but if i had fodder right now i would not be selling it yet especially if i had anywhere between the 82 honestly any fodder right now i would not be selling because we're getting more icon sbcs more 83 times 10 and more packs that have been added to the code that i think will make some of the lower tier on the market actually explode so that was the first thing that we saw yesterday the 83 times 10 it's making fodder go bananas we also have the daily login upgrade which is just like it was during winter wild cards but i would believe that the objective packs might be even better this time i don't know comparatively how they are to the winter wild cards promo but these packs are insane a bronze player every single day non-rare bronze by the way because rare bronzes are going to go up for the icon sbcs right you turn it in, you get a double 81 pack, and then you get one of these, right? You get all the way down to an 84 times 5 and a couple 83 times 10s at the end of this, which will be during the heart of team of the year. This is once again fantastic from EA. GG's, that is incredible. So make sure you're uh, grinding those every single day. Make sure you're logging on, getting that done. That's just once a day. That's not twice a day like the 85 times 10. Of course, it is daily SBC. And... 
daily icon SBCs, man. What has EA done? They've completely flipped the switch. Content has gone from zero to 100 real quick, and we have prime icon SBCs dropping. Now, uh, Kakao is our first one. Now, how many are we going to get? Well, this warm up series promo is probably just going to be for the three days, right? Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday before Team of the Year starts on Friday. So, Kakao yesterday, one more today, and one more on Thursday. And this is a decent value SBC. W card, of course, a legend for so many people, played for so many different clubs. Not, not so many, but a plethora of clubs, big clubs. And, of course, he performed well at all of them. Milan, Real Madrid. I was thinking Orlando City at the end, of course, knowing his MLS days and being in the USA. But, especially for Real Madrid and Milan fans, that's an SBC. That's a no-brainer. You're going to craft it. It looks like it's just mid-value right now. But... I think that this SBC is actually decent value. Here's why. Look at the fodder prices right now, right? Inflated. Even with the higher rated squads that Kaka has inside of the SBC, take it to next week. This SBC might only cost you about, I don't know, 550, maybe even 500,000 coins flat and even cheaper than that when you're crafting inside of team of the year to get done. In my opinion, this is a small W in terms of the value. Now, the question is, who are we going to get next, right? We're getting a daily SBC. There is uh, no icon leaked for today just yet, but a lot of people are speculating that Cantona might be one of the next icons because his price was dropping off a lot yesterday and he was on the popular page of Footbin. So that's kind of our sneaky suspicion that there's maybe something going on there with Cantona being one of the icons released in the next couple of days. If that's true, that would be insane. But watch out for Lee's today because that will be a big part of our content today on FIFA 23 on a Wednesday. Now, also a part of our content today, we have some new packs to look forward to. I think these packs are actually going to drop today. Uh, I would assume that EA would give us a couple days to get their SBCs done or maybe some of them via, uh, available via objectives. The 83 plus packs, man, we had these last year. We loved them and we wanted to know where they were this year. Well, here they finally are. Three 83 plus defenders, midfielders, and attackers packs. Now, I don't often do this, but I'm going to suggest an investment on one specific rating of SBC fodder right now, and that is the 82 rated. These guys are still basically minimum price. 700 coins, buy now with 750, 82s. 83s are going to rise up big time because of these packs. 84s are already up, but 82s, if you're doing an 83 rated squad, which is exactly what these required last year, if you take a look at the 83 plus attacker upgrade, it was an 83 squad with like 75 chemistry last year, back when there was chemistry in SBCs. Remember those days? Crazy, right? Uh, I think it's going to be around the same rating this year, probably an 82 or an 83 rated squad to get some of these done. The attacker and the midfielder upgrade are always a little bit more expensive, of course. Makes sense. But if I were you guys, if you want to make some quick coins, they're literally, there's no risk. They're at minimum price. And if you're investing in these 82s, you could end up putting them into rare gold upgrade packs, league specific upgrade packs during team of the year later on if they don't end up rising. So it's literally minimum risk. These guys could seriously double and go to 1.2 to 1.3K, maybe 1.5 plus if the SBCs are 82 rated squads specifically. So watch out for these today if you want to go in on investment there. Uh, that's not my type of investment. I don't like investing and going on a sign or that sort of stuff. But if you want to buy some fodder, watch 82s. That's like the only part of the fodder market right now that is not up that much. Even the 90s and 91s that we looked at earlier in the week are rising and probably going to rise further. That's why we're saying if you have fodder, fodder right now, I would just be holding this stuff, right? I mean, take a look at KDB, 59 all the way up to 64. If we get a Cantona or like a really big name icon as an SBC, these guys are just going to keep going up because people will want to get those squads done. There is so much SBC demand in this game right now. It is crazy. And that is why on the flip side of the coin, the loading screen and the potential of this team of the year pack spree, people spending coins on it, dropping uh, cards from their team, selling cards to go and get fodder to get SBCs done is creating some panic on the market. Now, I bought some cards to trade with yesterday, and I'm losing some coins. Probably lost about 100K. I made some coins on these. I also lost some coins. But since I traded with about 14, 15 cards yesterday, I'm losing some coins. I'm losing a lot of tax on these, right? Because uh, the market is just going down, and there is a lot of panic selling because people are seeing this content and they're like, oh my goodness, 
team of the year is legit about to be here and i gotta sell cards to go and afford these packs to try to pack team of the years literally everything is on its way down especially in the lower tier right we saw the top tier cards kind of drop this weekend um we saw guys like mbappe go from 770 down to like 700 flat on sunday night right mbappe right now is 710,000 coins and guys i gotta be honest for the way that this market looks right now I don't really see a ton of opportunities for this stuff to go up, at least not today, unless the content is just very surprisingly dead, which it seems like that's almost impossible with what's going on right now with all the craftability of the 83 times 10s and all the fodder that people need. It's not even craftable, really. It's just the pack chase that everybody is after right now. That's continuing to drain coins off of the market and it's dropping prices everywhere. And I think that continues into the day. That's why I took some of those losses and some of those sales. I just took them tonight as I was logging onto the game because I was like, this stuff is probably going to go lower today into Wednesday, tomorrow into Thursday. And of course, as we get to Friday, things will change. But like, look at prices. Ganduzi was 190. Now he's 163. This is all just from yesterday. Prices dropping down. I sold Royce yesterday morning at like 240. He is 200,000 coins. Um, Dirk Kite was 300. Now he's 257. You've got cards like Militao that are down. Harry Kane was over 200. He is now down. Prices literally everywhere. Expensive cards, cheap cards. Bruno Guimaraes was 200K, now 178. Prices everywhere are dropping because people... This is truly the team of the year panic sell is what we are experiencing right now. We just didn't have a big enough reason for most people to sell cards in this game. Team of the year warm-up series, like it did last year, is bringing that panic to us today so if you have cards in your team prices are probably just going to keep going down i would be very careful owning too much right now in this game and i would also be very careful trading with cards there are cards that are down a lot right i mean you take a look at this bernardo silva who yesterday with the leak of the gunduan sbc uh, our objective was down already like twenty thousand coins and now bernardo silva is like four hundred thousand coins right and this guy was like 470 yesterday. Is this low enough for me to try to flip and try like just to flip based off of the rarity? Maybe, right? Maybe he could have an hour where he goes back to 440K. I could buy him right here at 403, which is actually very tempting right now. Or maybe this one on bid at 400 because he looks really rare and he's really low. But you have to be very, very careful trading with this stuff because it's kind of just like a little bounce and then it just keeps falling further. And that's how I feel like this market is going to be today. I would not be really buying that many cards. If you wanted to buy cards for your teams and you have not bought those yet, um, yeah, I would be watching for some really good buy opportunities today or tomorrow because I do believe that prices will continue to go lower on the in pack stuff on the out of pack stuff i'm looking at zlatan's price right now zlatan is dropping down in value literally everything guys from the high tier to the low tier zlatan is 2.74 after he was like 2.9 all day yesterday he is down dropping down in price so keep a close eye on the market because once we get to friday like we said in yesterday's video this sets us up if you're trying to make coins this weekend or if you just want to kind of stay ahead of the market this sets us up for a really really nice friday night market rise after we have that initial panic kind of like what happened a couple of weeks ago i think it was the second week of winter wild cards maybe even the first week of centurions we had some panic right around content with all the insane stuff that was dropped which is i think what's going to happen on friday and then the market's going to do very very nice friday night because ea once again gifted everybody weekend league qualification points 1250 out of 1250 so everybody can try to qualify for weekend league that is more gameplay demand. That is more people that will be in the weekend league this weekend. So that's a GG's to EA as well, a part of this team of the year promo. And I'm going to go ahead and bid on this Bernardo Silva at 400 unless I can buy one really fast because I do believe I'll be able to sell this. Ooh, 398. Don't mind if I do. Thank you very much. I will take that and uh, I'll put that on my tranche list because I think I'll be able to sell them at 440 here in about an hour or so. So that's the only kind of trading that I would maybe do on the market. I could say, look at informs because informs are probably gonna go up with the requirement in the 83 times 10. The fodder market, all you gotta know is it's going up because there are more SBCs and more demand there. And the meta market is just kind of dropping. Now, also on the loading screen, we had the team of the year card design, which we pointed out already. Now, talking about today's content on Wednesday, we've talked about some other things we could, of course, see. I think since we got this loading screen yesterday, with just the team of the year card design on it. I think today they might show this card design and also another one that was just added to the code a few hours ago. 
this is the one. Now, this is not a leaked card. This is not anything to do with Kaka. This is just a concept of the player, but the card design is confirmed. Kaka on this card looks absolutely phenomenal, and this card design is unbelievable. Like, that is the best icon card design I have ever seen. Hopefully, we get some news from EA what Team of the Year icons will look like, because still, we are in the dark. We don't know anything, but now we know the official card design, and that is crazy. So, that is an incredible card. I think it will show up today on the loading screen. That's my guess. It's not, of course, searchable in the game. I'll check that right now. I haven't checked it in a minute, but... The Team of the Year design and the Team of the Year uh, icon are not yet searchable in the game. But watch out for those probably tomorrow at least. Uh, you'll be able to see them in the menu. So that'll be nice to see there as we get ready uh, for Team of the Year. Now, more content, more stuff to expect today. As of, of course, the 83 times 10 the refresh, the daily SBC upgrade, the, um, the one with the objectives, right? the refresh another icon sbc watch out for the leaks today that'll probably be leaked ahead of the content drop today and then probably those 83 plus specific position packs which we will need probably some 82 or 83 rated squads for and then the only other content that i would maybe expect to see today would just be kind of your normal stuff like the silver stars which yesterday's silver stars expired early it was really weird uh the ward crystal palace right back card expired early i don't know what was going on there Kind of a weird situation, but I do expect to see a new one of those today. I don't know if they'll make it like team of the year related or I, I doubt it. I don't know how you make a team of the year silver stars, but I do expect to see a silver stars today. So keep an eye out for that. And then a new team of the week, which this is worth talking about in my opinion here, just for a quick second, because there is a ones to watch upgrade that uh, is happening today. Most likely in team of the week, it is leaked. And also in a lot of predictions, Dybala might be getting an upgrade today. And this is a team of the week prediction for today. Ramsdale, Lovely. Uh, Mukiele, Mbemba, Traore, Rashford, Jonathan David, Ben Yedder, Osaman, Ward Prowse, Lookman. I mean, it's a pretty solid looking team of the week if this is what it ends up looking like. Now, the biggest thing to note is the upgrades are being doubled, guys. Some of these cards that are getting upgrades today, just like we saw last week in Team of the Week 10, are going to have, or sorry, Team of the Week 11, are going to have some additional upgrades, right? Taliska looked really good. Um, Danilo looked look really good with his double upgrade. And some of these middle to high tier cards that are already having good stats, especially like an Osaman, especially Mukiele could be cracked today with some alternate positions potentially. Watch out for Team of the Week 12 today. It might be nice to trade with just today, tomorrow, but be very careful with it come Friday and come the pack supply of the weekend. That's something to watch out for. And then this is the uh, one of the leaker accounts on Twitter that has been pretty accurate. Um, the Dybala that he posted potentially could get an, a plus two. That's something to kind of keep in mind as well. So once to watch Dybala's card today, if you have that Dybala OTW, if you invested in it or something, I would maybe wait until content to see how big of a juice uh, this card gets. I think he's like 200 and. 12k 210,000 coins at the moment normally he would just get a plus one but if his inform gets a double upgrade maybe that means a plus two for this and also yesterday we had ones to watch taliso that was upgraded with a double upgrade as well it, the only like ea kind of got this wrong right he should have been an 86 rated card but uh because he, he already got the world cup upgrade from 81 to 84 but the uh streak win upgrade which uh leon finally is getting recognized for they did this at the end of december finally got the upgrade ea gave him a double upgrade yesterday from an 84 to an 87 so plus three that's a double upgrade maybe dibala gets a plus two today as well so i don't exactly know how it's going to work out but i guess the bigger upgrades on team of the week also mean bigger upgrades on ones to watch so keep a close eye on that today and honestly it's just going to be a pretty crazy it's going to be a madness honestly guys prices are going to be dropping today Prices uh, on the fodder are going to be going sky high and moving all over the place. It's going to be a very fun day on FIFA because there's a lot to go out and craft and a lot to go out and do. But at the same time, it's going to be dropping a lot of people's coin balances on this game because the fear of missing out on some of these team of the year packs is going to be real. One thing that I'm going to try to do is finish off some of the league SBCs that I want to do and do some 82 plus upgrades. Uh, guys, I'm going to start spending coins on doing upgrade packs um, before a team of the year because I want to be able to at least still have a chance at packing Zlatan. And I also want to get some 82 plus fodder in my club to do the 83 times 10 again and uh, to do other SBCs like those 83 plus position specific packs as they are dropping on this game now one thing i want to show you guys as well really quickly at the very end of this video if you stuck it out i want to give you guys a little bit of a tip 
if you have tradable packs, there has never been a better time to open tradable packs. I would say if you have tradable packs, reconsider saving those for team of the year. Honestly, reconsider entirely saving those for team of the year because uh, right now, if you think about it, most likely you are going to be selling the cards that you pack from that pack. Like, honestly, we're not going to pack too many team of the years from tradable saved up packs, right? But what will you pack? 83s, 84s, maybe some 85s. Maybe you get lucky and you get a walkout. All of this stuff is kind of up in price right now. There's never been a better time, especially after today when more packs get released, to open tradable packs. Whether it's qualifier rewards, whether it's maybe packs you've saved up. I know that it's all about the team leader pack spam right now. But if you're thinking about it from a perspective of just getting the most coin value back from the packs that you open right now is the best time you will probably find in a long time to open packs before team of the year. So just keep that in mind. And we shouted and talked about that on stream yesterday. I think it's a very, very valid point, a very good point. And it needs to be said because that can make you some extra coins heading into team of the year by packing some of those fodder cards. If you don't need them, selling them off as tradables that might make you some extra coins and turn into more upgrade packs during team of the year or a better, bigger upgrade for your team. So I'm going to go ahead and try to flip these Bernardo Silvas because he is about to get rare and we're about to enjoy a nice little fluctuation and try to make some coins back from the couple that we lost today trying to flip cards. I'm going to be very careful trading today, probably not buy too much, but it's going to be a crazy day of content. If you're excited for it, leave a thumbs up on the video. Comment down below if you have any questions. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in the Twitch stream today. That link is in the description, of course, as well. It's been Nate's Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.